Hey guys, it's your humble host, or Kayla if you prefer, so this is going to be a rather important video as this argument has come up every so couple of years, and this time I'm scared that we're actually going to lose. If you don't know what's going to happen December 16th of 2017, the debate for net neutrality is going to go up again. You have someone by the name of Ajit Pai trying to dismantle the regulations that the government has put on to make net neutrality fair and accessible to everyone. I have an article here as I pulled this up during the stream last night and I'm going to read it to you. So this looks really bad and this is someone that Trump has put in charge of the FCC and that has me really worried that he's trying to go through and make the internet corporate. You'll see what I mean. Um, I'm reading from the New York Times. FCC plans net neutrality repeal in a victory for telecoms. So, like I said, here's the battle again, and I'm really scared that we're going to lose. The Federal Communications Commission released a plan on Tuesday to dismantle landmark regulations that ensure equal access to the internet, clearing the way for internet service companies who charge users to more to see certain content and do curb access to some websites. So you kind of know how like cable is where you have different channels and you have to go on those channels to watch certain things. Well, they now want to go through and make the internet to where you have to pay for more services just to access certain websites. And this will also squeeze access to others, which is not a good thing. The proposal, made by FCC Chairman Ajit Pai, is a sweeping repeal of rules put in place by the Obama administration. So I will say one thing about Obama that that is good that he kept the net neutrality. I don't like the fact that Obama gave ICANN away, or the control of it, but the fact that he kept net neutrality in place has served well for everyone. The rules prohibit high-speed internet service, uh, excuse me, internet service providers, or ISPs, from stopping or slowing down the the delivery of websites. They also prevent the companies from charging customers extra fees for high-quality streaming and other services. So, like I said, the net neutrality allows equal access to any and all websites, doesn't matter what information, doesn't matter what the message is. Net neutrality allows all websites to be accessed with fair um, speeds, fair signals, and all that wonderful jazz. What Ajit Pai wants to do is he wants to channelize it to, like I said, you have to pay for more packages just to access certain websites. They want to kind of make it like cable. Or at least that's how I take it. Anyway, the announcement said of a fight over free speech and the control of the internet, pitting telecom titans like AT&T and Verizon against internet giants like Google and Amazon. The internet companies warned that rolling back the rules could make the telecom companies powerful gatekeepers to information entertainment. The telecom companies say that the existing rules prevent them from offering customers a wider selection of services at a higher and lower price points. Now, I will say, because with Verizon, this is where I G Pi is from, and I can't remember if he was a CEO of Verizon, but he had a very, very high position with Verizon, and Verizon, as I talked about in a stream with someone by the name of Lord Nurgle, and I'll put the stream below, um, Verizon has a very strong grip in the telecommunication company. They have one of the highest services in the United States for signal for internet, I know that Comcast can compete, they do bump heads with AT&T, but Verizon is one that almost nearly has the gridlock. Now, I have personally worked for Verizon under a contracted company, and I will say their customer service sucks. It wasn't that the CSRs did a bad job, it was that the higher-ups just didn't give a shit about the customers, and putting these asshats in charge of anything like this is beyond insane. Um, another thing, too, is in regards to freedom of speech. As we all know, when Trump came into office, the Senate, the House, the Congress all became uh, Republican controlled. Now, as we've seen in the past, because this was also talked about in the stream, that the Republicans wanted to constrict 
everything. They wanted to constrict a lot of stuff, and it was the Democrats who wanted to have things more free, more open. And it seems that the tide has turned. Well, and this is my word, because I did vote Trump, and I liked what he stood for. Um, There's no way in hell I was voting Hillary in, and the rest of the candidates were either idiots or just insane. But this really has me worried, and I will say, if this succeeds, I this is going to lose Trump his 2020 election. I will say that, because I will not vote for Trump again if this asshat manages to pull this off. Because with Trump, and this is a worry that uh, the liberals and the left do have, and I will say that this is a growing concern, because I can even see this from myself, I'm not blind, with... You remember how CNN, they would spot all these lies during the election? We remember that, and Trump labeled them as fake news? Well, we're starting to see a lot more things labeled as fake news. There isn't a balance anymore. So with this, if this comes to pass to where they're allowed to channelize the internet, it's going to squelch a lot of sites and a lot of political platforms. And we will see it happen. Now, let's continue on before I go on another tangent. But this is what I'm scared of. When they mention the squelching of free speech, this is going to usher in a whole new way of uh, control, which is not good for anyone. Left, right, no one. This will serve no one. Um, Under my proposal, the federal government will stop micromanaging the Internet, Mr. Pai said in a statement. Instead, the FCC would simply require Internet service providers to be transparent about their practices that consumers can buy the service plan that's best for them. Mr. Pai, a Republican who has pursued an aggressive geographic... Excuse me, I'm tripping over my words. Deregulation agenda was widely expected to have his plan approved during the meeting on December 14th. The two other Republicans on the commission generally vote with Mr. Pai, giving them a majority over the two Democrats. Now, something else to keep in mind, because this does have to pass Congress. For any of you who have been watching the blow up of sexual scandals, I caught wind on the news the other day that just like Hollywood, you have Congress that is blowing up with sexual scandals. Now, why would this tie into this? Um, I can't remember the guy's name for the life of me, but there's someone being accused right now of sexually assaulting a soldier. He put her hands on a, her army vest or what and took a picture while she was sleeping. Now, from what I understand, this guy has Democratic buddies. A lot of these guys are bought and paid for by each other to keep quiet about certain things. How do you think this is going to swing? We see this all the time in politics. It's not coincidental that we now start to see the sexual allegations blow up in Congress, people trying to cover their own butt, and then this is snuck in. Uh, that may sound like I'm tinfoiling, but you guys see what I'm saying. Um, what's my fear and worry, because I was, we have seen from the left that they have tried to deplatform a lot of political speakers, they have tried to silence anybody who contradicts them, I could see, for this bill, both Democrats and Republicans approve and push this bill, because it would give them the power, in a way, to silence their detractors and the people who speak out against them. So if this goes, this is going to be a major, major speech struggle. Um, whose messages are going to be allowed to go out to the public? Um, who, co- Which companies are working for who? Because in another article I pulled up that had to do with uh, Julian Assange, he mentioned, and I don't know how uh, much accuracy this has, but he pointed out uh, his observation that a lot of the internet companies are lean more towards democratic, more liberal, or are more democratic controlled. So I don't know how true that is, but once again, you could, I could honestly see both liberals and Republicans go for this bill and try to use it to their own means. It's going to turn into a nasty fight if this freaking thing goes through. It's not going to be good for those of us who are for free speech, who are for the exchange of ideas and not are and are not out to de-platform or silence anybody. Um, Telecom and the internet companies are expected to lobby hard in Washington and directly to the public as they did when the current rules were adopted. Some internet companies were expected to put up a fight to prevent the proposal from taking hold. The Internet Association, 
uh, industry group joined a legal effort in 2015 to protect the existing rules. The agency has already received 2 million public comments, many of them in opposition of changing the rules since Mr. Pai announced the broad outlines of his thinking earlier this year. The big companies that provide internet access to phones and computers have fought for years against broadband regulations. And let me point out something else against Verizon, because I don't know if you guys remember this. Um, I want to say it was a few years back, Verizon used to have unlimited internet. Actually, a lot of cell phone companies did, uh, straight talk included, but they started to stick caps on um, the data, like you get, say, 10 gigabytes worth of data for a certain amount of month. It was no longer unlimited. Verizon made a stink a few years back that certain websites would really suck the signal out of their broadband, and they did try to control it. So here's Verizon. They have one of their guys now in charge of the FCC trying to do the exact same thing just on a massive scale because Verizon has tried to do this before with their own service to where they did want to squeeze access to certain websites to make their broadband run a little bit better. So that was a thing with Verizon. Um, let's see. The big companies that provide internet access to phones and computers have fought for years against broadband regulations. Under the new plan, broadband providers would be able to block access, slow down, or speed up service for its business partners in some cases, as long as they notify customers. So yeah, there we go. That is where the squelching of free speech comes in. And also, let me point this out too, because I brought this up in that stream as well. This could be used as... Um, silence of religion or expression of religion. Let me explain. And because this is another word that I have, and this is coming from a Christian, mind you, is you have a lot, like I said, the House, the Senate, the Congress, all Republican controlled right now. It's all red. Now, a lot of them are very, I don't want to say evangelical, but a lot of them are what I consider uh, Christian nut jobs, to where they want to silence anybody um, who speaks out against God and tries to push the creationism agenda. Now, as Lord Nurgle brought up in stream, that do you guys remember when um, a lot of these uh, people came forward and tried to just establish um, the young creationist science in schools and try to do away with evolution altogether? You guys remember that? So that is my worry too. Um, that seeing how if this bill passed and how everything is Republican controlled, that we're going to see a sweep, um, a religious sweep of squelching things that don't, that, uh, contradict the, those beliefs. And this is coming from a Christian, not for me personally, I'd rather have something that's open rather than have something that is tightly controlled and one belief. I felt like on here, I follow many different um, YouTubers, they're atheists, some of them are hardcore evolutionists, some of them don't believe in God at all, you know, that's fine. I follow them to get a different perspective and to learn many things, and I have learned many things, and that is another fear I have with this. It is a big fear that I have. Um, and this could also turn around and bite the Republicans in the butt and have their beliefs and Christianity squelch and all that wonderful stuff. So forgive me if I'm tenfolding, but you guys can see where this is going. We've already seen many people try to deplatform each other. Let's continue on because I know this is going to turn into a long video. This is a long article. This action will return broadband in the U.S. to a regulatory regime that emphasizes private investment and innovation over lumbering government intervention, said Joanne Marsh, a vice president at AT&T. Oops, excuse me. Big online companies like Google and Facebook say the repeal proposal would allow telecom companies to play favorites by charging customers for accessing some sites or by slowing speeds to others. The existing rules were written to prevent such arrangements, adopting a policy often called net neutrality. And that is true, because Verizon has already tried to pull this crap once with their own broadband service. We are disappointed that the proposal announced today by the FCC fails to maintain the strong net neutrality protections that will ensure the internet remains open for everyone. Aaron Egan, a vice president at Facebook, said in the statement, We will work with all stakeholders committed to this principle. 
Small online companies believe the proposal would hurt innovation because telecom companies would force them to pay more for the faster connections. Only the largest companies, they say, would be able to afford the expense of making sure their sites received preferred treatment. Companies like Etsy and Pen Interest, for example, credit their start to the promise of free and open access to the internet. So that is true. This this is going to affect everyone. Gamers, artists, uh, very much political speakers on platforms such as YouTube, VidMe, BitChute, everybody is going to get hit if this crap passes. And consumers, the online companies say, may see their costs go up. For an example, they want high quality access to popular websites like Netflix, a company that depends on vast connections for its streaming videos. Netflix said on Tuesday that it opposed Mr. Pie's proposal. The action represents the end of net neutrality as we know it and defies the will of millions of Americans, and that really does. As much as we disagree and we bump heads, those of us who are for free speech want everyone to have the same and equal access, and that's how it should stay. Nobody needs to have more control than the other, because then, as the article states, favorites are played, people are silenced, um, different beliefs get silenced. As I brought up, those are some of my biggest fears that I have with this, and I can see this from the Republican side, because it has happened before. It has happened before. Um, and as I mentioned with the uh, science stuff that they were trying to implement in schools. Said Michael Beckerman, chief executive of the Internet Association, a lobbying group that represents Google, Facebook, Amazon, and the other tech companies. Mr. Pai said the current rules had been adopted to stop only theatrical harm theoretical harm. He said the rules limit consumer choice because telecom companies cannot offer different tiers of service. For example, as a result, he said, internet service companies cannot experiment with new business models that could help them compete with online businesses, Netflix, Google, and Facebook. So pretty much they want to make the rules uneven and unfair. There is our there is fair c competition as it is. Amazon, from what I hear, is kicking everyone's butt. And they... Pi wants to unequal the playing ground. Everybody has fair competition as it is with advertising, um, equal access to all. So it's up to the consumers to go to which sites and make them popular. Pi wants to tip the scales in his favor, and that's total crap. It's the it's depressed investment in building and expanding broadband networks and deterred innovation, Mr. Pi said Tuesday. No, you can pretty this up all you want, but this is about control, and it really is. Uh, Comcast, one of the country's biggest broadband companies, said it would not slow websites that contain legally permitted material. We do not and will not block, throttle, or discriminate against lawful content, and we will be transparent with our customers about these policies, the company said. Um, and I've actually heard people already grab and complain that Comcast already does put a squeeze on certain websites already. Um, a lot of people complained about that in the chat from last night's stream. In a call with reporters, FCC officials said that said the blocking and that slowing of some content could be seen as anti-competitive. And that is true because if this passes, this is going to allow certain companies to create a monopoly, which shouldn't happen at all. Everybody should be given fair playing grounds in regards to competition, and that's what this open internet does. The equal exchange of ideas, the equal opportunity for business. No one should be able to put a squeeze on any signal to any website. I don't care what the website stands for. No. Those practices, they said, would be policed by the Federal Trade Commission or the Justice Department. The plan to repeal the existing rules passed in 2015. I had no idea about this. Um, would reverse a hallmark decision by the agency to consider broadband a public utility. And broadband is. It's no one can really live without it these days is how we get information, it's how we keep in contact with people, it's how we learn various different things. So yes, it is a public utility now, and no one should have uh, more say or more control over it than the next, as essential as phones and electricity. The earlier decision created the legal foundation for the current rules and underscored the importance of high-speed internet service. It was put in place by Tom Wheeler, an FCC chairman under President Obama.
Mr. Pai, who was appointed chairman by President Trump in January, has eliminated numerous regulations during his first year. I'm not sure what all those regulations are, so that's something that everybody does need to look into because I'm just hearing about this now. The agency has stripped down the rules governing television broadcasters, newspapers, and telecom companies that were meant to protect the public interest. On Tuesday, in addition to the net neutrality rollback, Mr. Pai announced a plan to eliminate a rule eliminating... Or excuse me, limiting any corporation from controlling broadcasts that can reach more than 39% of American homes. Okay, let me read that again. On Tuesday, in addition to the net neutrality rollback, Mr. Pai announced a plan to eliminate a rule eliminating any corporation from controlling broadcasts that can reach more than 39% of American homes. So, from my understanding, there was a rule in place that prevented... Um, companies from squelching signals to Pacific channels. The fight over net neutrality could end up being one of his biggest and most fraught decisions. For more than a decade, the agency has struggled with how to regulate internet service, leading to extended legal battles. The rules adopted under Mr. Wheeler were upheld in 2016 by a federal appeals court in Washington. The proposed release on Tuesday will probably make its way to court as well, and companies like Google and Facebook are expected to push the public to speak out against the plan. They coordinated a huge online protest against the possible changes in July. What? Oh, I wonder if he means July 2018. Some of the lobbying could make could take place in Congress. That's going to be fun. Even though it may change little because Republicans control both houses. And see, that, this is where the problem comes in, because at first I was excited, but as I explained, um, earlier that because of their overwhelming control that they now have, which I believe to be a good thing at first, but now I not so much, um, this could create a really big backlash and they could turn into the dictators with trying to silence people on the left or their liberals with their message that they don't like. Nevertheless, Democrats have vowed to try to reconstruct the strict rules adopted by the FCC in 2015. The next three weeks promised to hold intense lobbying from both sides, but that not might be the end of it. The regulation of internet providers has already swung once on the change in the Oval Office. As good as the FCC's action is for the ISPs, it only ensures non-regulation of broadband through 2020, said Paul Gallant, an analyst at the research film Cohen. So that is the end of it. So if this goes through... This is going to last until 2020, but so much damage would already be done by then if this actually goes through. And so more and more people need to speak out. I'm starting to see more and more videos. Um, please, this is alert you guys. I just found out about this while in stream because I decided to look it up um, because I started to hear about it on Twitter. Um, this is really important, and I'm really scared that we're going to lose this one because anyone could be silenced. This could backfire on the Republicans, or the Republicans could take a massive control of freaking everything. And it's not good for either side to have full control of everything. This needs to stay open, this needs to stay free and equal for the exchange of ideas, for the start of businesses, it just, you guys get what I'm saying. And this could really hinder the expression of religion or the expression of non-religion. It just, it could turn into a massive power struggle. It, this is going to hurt everybody if this goes through. So please look this up. Um, spread this around. There are bigger YouTubers, way bigger than myself, who have made videos on it. Uh, Boogie has said something. Um, crap, I can't remember some of the other ones. But please, please, please do not ignore this. Let your voice be heard because now forget the squabbling that's happened between both sides. We now need to come together and freaking squelch this. And like I said, this is one of Trump's guys that he put in place. If this goes through, this will cost Trump his 2020 election because I will not vote for Trump again if this crap goes through. I had no idea that this was going on, and no, this is not okay. Not okay at all. But anyway, please look this up. Let your voice be heard.
pass this around, do your own video, spread this out on your social media. The more that people know, the more that we can have our voice be heard and fight back. Please forget the fighting that both sides have for now and please get this out as much as possible. Thank you.